But think about what kind of consultant you need, because if you're moving into a new system, often you need a consultant or an agency to actually set it up for you. Salesforce is a perfect example. Can you get your trailhead certifications for free and know enough to be dangerous? Yeah, but that's not going to help you make good decisions about how your data needs to move from where it is now into a new CRM. So think about where you feel most nervous. I don't know anything about X. So I need to find somebody who can fill that knowledge gap for me that I can build a trusting relationship with, whether they're a builder, developing your website, um, helping you figure out those business processes that Mark was talking about earlier. Um, I do a lot of what I call translating and normalizing. So a vendor, software company says something very technical and very foreign. And I will take that information, I'll explain it in terms that anybody can understand. So it levels the playing field. If a nonprofit client of mine is nervous about something, vendor said X, what? We didn't expect that. I can normalize it and say, yeah, every product works like that. You're going to have to think about these things. The uh, Tristan mentioned the two magic words, project management, a couple of times in his answers. And I think that's where nonprofit staffers just don't have a lot of experience in running a technology project. So consultants can be very helpful figuring out together with your team and the software company, who's doing what, when's it due, what order are we doing things in, does everybody understand what they're responsible for, do we all have the same picture in our head of what's going to happen when we sign this contract and hit the go button. So project management consultants can be helpful and figure out where you've got that, that belly buzzer of Tristan's when you think about making a decision or moving, changing where that worry is for you and then try to find somebody who can help you decrease or eliminate that worry.